guys, it's Michelle with Sweets and Soaps, and um, I'm coming to you today to talk about some color coloring for cold process and hot process soap, and um, where I got started and what I started using when I first started soaping. Well, really, what I did is I really um, back then, eight, nine years ago, nine, yeah, nineteen years ago, I researched a lot. Um, I bought books in regards to soap making it, because I wasn't sure. I bought both um, Melt and Pour information and um, um, cold process soap soap making books um, to get all the knowledge and information that I needed. I also searched, researched online um, in regards to, you know, making soap and, and what, and, and to what, and to you for what colors. Duh, I can't, like, duh, duh. But anyways, um, I remember I started using crayons, non-toxic um, Crayola crayons. Um, it was the very first color and I started using. And that was for personal use. I wouldn't recommend that for um, anyone if you're going to sell your candles. I mean, not candles, but you're going to sell your um, soap. But that's why I started because, you know, crayons, they have nice colors. If you use enough and the right colors, you get what you want. However... As time progressed on, I was able to buy uh, mica colors, but you know I really didn't use them, even though I had them years ago. What I did use them to get colors that I was looking for because I made more of a natural color soap. Um, I used cocoa powder to get the brown. Um, I used some herbs and some botanicals um, for other colors. Um, I used like alfalfa powder. Um, um, to get some um, like greens um, what else did I use um, I used like rosehip powder um, tamar what was that tamarind for yellow um, I didn't use cayenne pepper I wasn't gonna put cayenne pepper in those soaps you know in case I don't want to burn nobody up but um, like paprika um, some cheap paprika not no expensive stuff get that cheap stuff that's already out of date <laughs> to use in there uh, for coloring, uh, but that's where I started. I started with uh, using spices and herbs and um, and you know things like that to get color. And those gave you like more of a natural color. Um, um, I also um, started using uh, food coloring, but I learned fast that food coloring will not last. And it's not the food coloring in the drip drip little bottles, but it would be the icing colors that you know that you can get that Wilton's sells I I keep these um, but this is I used to color my soaps with these and over time they start to fade and they start looking really discolored so I, I quit using those and just said you know what let me just order the micas and you know and we move from there but these I use when I'm making my bath bombs my bubble bars my bath salts um, is that it? Yeah, these. Because they're not food coloring per se, but they are a gel. So, those work out great. Um, now, as far as who I order from, and I'm not going to endorse anyone, but these are the people I order from. My main people I order my, um, my mica colors for, from is TKB Trading. They have a huge selection. Um, they have it broken down into melt and pour, um, ones that can, um, the non-bleeding that you can use in hot or in cold process soap making. So of course, I'm in a hot, the hot and cold, cold process soap making. Um, so when I first started off, I, I went on there and I wanted to try some dye, some colors, some micas. So I ordered a, a collection that they had. It was called Pop Colors. And it gave you a variety of colors um, to ch that actually came with it. And they came in one ounce bags. Now, one ounce is a lot. You might not think like one ounce. Oh, but because these are powders, they are very, they are not dense. So you get a whole lot or they are dancing you get a whole lot or whatever but anyways these are some these are the colors that I started off with 
one was um, Tangerine Pop. This one, which is a Lemon Pop. And this Raspberry Pop. Apple Green Pop. Grape Pop. Now those were the ones that I started off with. And you can actually take these and mix these colors. Um, I'm not good at that, but to find colors, you know, they they have a formulary where you can go in there and it tells you, you know, I think they, I believe they have something that you can tell you how to mix them. Okay, you, you have to look, because I never use it, so I'm not sure. I also had ordered a black uh, mica. This black mica, per se, only in cold process soap, it turns out gray. Regardless of how much you use, it turns out gray. Okay. These also, I don't know if these ones, but on their, on their website, they tell you what um, these particular micas can be used for. Some are not safe around the eyes. Some are not skin safe. Um, but they give you a breakdown on, you know, how they receive it and what part of the body you can use these micas on. I just recently ordered um, a few more colors and I wanted some neon colors so I had seen on there so in their part of the um, P high pH safe colors I ordered um, neon pink I think it's coming in purple but it's pink neon purple and neon red now these are one ounce packs. These are pretty, and these are full. One ounce, wow, huge. I didn't realize that that's how much was in there. Then I ordered samples, and oh my gosh, this is a sample. This is um, fluorescent strong pink. This sucker is full, okay? A lot of uses, and a little goes a long way with these colors. This is neon blue neon green neon orange mm -hmm. wow okay so it's really not sure and carbon black so those are just sample size those are huge cannot believe how big they are but this again is from TKB trading very wonderful very fast affordable shipping and handling charges not bad um, I also have ordered a, sa a few samples from um, Coastal Scents Coastal Scents mainly reaches for people who make makeup eyeshadows lip gloss blush you know face powder um, things like that but there also have micas and glitters um, they have yeah micas and glitters and they have a lot of other stuff for bath and body I also have fragrance oils essential oils and stuff like that now I use them for a few things and I wanted to sample some of a couple of the micas so I had ordered a illusion luxury gold this one is I don't see can you see it's gold very nice I also ordered a hot side pink this one I've used, and you know, you get it pretty much, there's a lot in there. I do have to say for a uh, just maybe a couple, um, maybe one or two, maybe about two or three batches of soap. I've only used a little bit of the um, hot side pink in my um, sugar scrubs, cubes. And this one, which is Gold Rush. I don't know if you go anyways, that's Gold Rush. And so those are the three, and you get a, pr a pretty good, decent amount. And I think their samples are also in a dollar fifty range, just like TKB. I ordered some sample sizes um, of oxides from um, Old Time Soap Company, and I don't, I can't remember the cost, but with iron oxides, a little goes a long way. They had a purple, oxide brown, oxide green. I also have an oxide red and a yellow. I just don't know where those are located right now to show you. But those come in a um, 
a little sample pack from them and I cannot remember the price but you can go to um, oldtimesoapcompany.com and find out they also sell um, titanium dioxide now those are some of the things that I use again I still use um, some natural colors like cocoa powder I can never get away from that because whenever I'm making chocolate soap I rather use cocoa powder, cocoa powder than a brown oxide or a mica um, just because you know you get the fragrance with it it really doesn't last but I like it um, I use um, alfalfa powder for um, green sometimes um, the rose hip ground rose hip um, um, wow yeah a lot so um, those are just some ideas so I hope that those help you guys um, for you guys wanting to know or looking to, into color um, those are some places that I order from again that's TKB trading Old Time Soap Company, Coastal Scents, um, Ellen's Essential.com, um, has them. Um, who else? You know, if, oh, let me see. Wow. Pretty much um, everyone who sells soap usually, or, you know, soap making products, um, they usually have colors. But these are the ones specifically that I use. I'm not endorsing them. I just use them. That's just me. All right, and since I have a little bit of time, let me just share real quick. I just got some oils in. I got one that's called Doodlebug, and Doodlebug, and these are from Nature's Garden Candles. This one, Doodlebug, smells like, um, 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 god darn it, uh, bubble gum. My daughter says banana bubble gum. I think it just smells like bubble gum. Insanity, vanilla insanity, berry buttery vanilla. Smells very good. I like it. Um, berry dust type. I'm not sure which berry dust type, but this has some powdery, florally, um, sweet scents. I like it. Um, strawberry shake. I like it. Smells like strawberries with some creaminess, powdery. There's something else in there. It smells very good. I really like this. So those are the four scents I ordered. Those are gonna. I'm gonna be soaping those. Again, I I believe the strawberry shake. Uh, the doodle bug of course vanilla I think all four of those and maybe fairy dust they may all have a touch of vanilla in it I did not check when I was ordering I like the names I like the descriptions so we're gonna give them a try and see how they work out um, I'm hoping to order me some more from nature's garden there's a couple more that I want um, that that I think will go great with my line because again my line is sweet scent soaps and what I like are sweet scents floralies are not really my thing but I do as you can see had a floral in my last video so I will be seeing maybe I could put sweets with florals and have sweet floral scents <laughs> but anyways you guys thanks for watching um, I'll be back I have some more things that I or something else that I've been making so um, I will holla at y'all later and deuces peace out have a good day bye